if you are one of those folks out there living in the communist nation of California, you're probably getting a little salty with buying real estate out there, right? You're like leaving Cali. You're trying to get your money out of Cali. You might even be trying to physically get out of Cali. I don't know. That's up to you. Uh, Cali's got some cool stuff, right? There's cool stuff out there, like the weather is dope. Uh, the Lakers are cool. Things like that. But, like, whoo, the laws. Damn, them laws is tough, man. Those laws is tough. Especially if you are, uh, you know, an American trying to live in a free country and have some rights over the property you own, right? The other 49 states in the USA, uh, we got a little bit more rights than y'all. Some more than others. Some, some of the blue states are getting a little close to y'all in Cali. But by far, ain't nobody as wild as Cali. Speaking of which, guys, if you dig this shirt, uh, you can click the notes below to buy it. And go ahead and use promo code HWTV10 to get 10% off, right? Let's, uh, you know... Let's buy some swag, dog. But anyway, uh, so Cali's tough, right? Cali's tough. Cali sucks. Uh, from a property ownership perspective, right? It's tough. The rights are being eroded. Rights are being sold, turned into, cur turned into currency and sold, right? In the form of votes, okay? So that's where it is. It's woke out there, okay? And I got a guy. He's got a situation like a lot of you. His name is JJ. He's out there in L.A., and uh, he wants to build a real estate business, right? Does a little tech work by day, real estate entrepreneur by night. But uh, with the climate being so jacked up out there, right? That was a weather pun. You see how I did that? Because we talked about the weather because the weather's nice. See, I'm, I'm funny. I do funny stuff. That's what I do. I talk to you guys about real estate. But also, I make jokes. Fucking funny ones. Anyway, JJ is uh, building a real estate business. But... He doesn't want to do so out there in Cali, right, because of everything I've been rambling on about up to this point in the show, right? So that's where I come in, okay? I help people like JJ invest in the markets that it still makes sense. Invest in markets where people have the rights on their side. Invest in markets where you can earn a solid passive income investing in real estate. And JJ, what I got for you today, playa? Single family house, you're only gonna need about thirteen thousand dollars to buy. It's gonna kick off a ton of cash, and that's right, LA. That's right, California. I'm talking about a house that's only gonna cost my man JJ thirteen grand. If everything I said thus far about the political atmosphere uh, and, and the things involved in that retrospect, right, uh, have not resonated yet with you, could we just talk about like? how absurd it would be to buy a house in like the California housing market for 13 grand. <laughs> yeah, it's insane, but you could do it in other areas of the country and I'm about to help JJ do so right now. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%, that's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. What up, y'all? How we doing, man? Let's check out this prep tie. Yeah, boy, I like this one right here. This is a cool, this is a cool little house, man. This one's gonna make some money. Just hit the market, y'all. Five days ago, we're gonna have to move quick. This one's gonna fly, right? Uh, nothing super, super crazy, sexy on the outside, but it's a freshly uh, turned over, rehabbed, so to speak, unit on the inside, right? This is what we want our rental properties to look like, y'all. We got the gray paint on the walls, the white trim. You got, like, some newer vinyl allure flooring, right? This is what tenants want to see, right? This is what houses are, are going for. This is what high-demand properties look like today, right? It's 2022. You don't want it to look like your grandma's house, right? Your grandma's kitchen ain't going to fly, right? So this is what people want, these nice uh, neutral colors, neutral decor, right? So as far as the house goes, it looks good. The bones appear to be pretty good, too. I mean, it's a 100-something-year-old house, but uh, like the furnace, this is probably like 15, 20 years old in this hot water tank. Uh, looks to be brand spanking new, and, and those are big, important things, right? We got updated electrical. These things matter, right? Hot water tanks, they cost like 1200 bucks to replace. Um, they last about 15 years, right? So you probably got 15 years or so of expectancy with that hot water tank. Furnace, a little bit older, you probably got about 15 years of life left in that bad boy. Those cost like 3Gs, right? So big ticket items you don't have to worry about right now. Like I said, 
updated electric, right? So that's all cool. That's all fine, right? House looks good. House looks good. That's like one step of the analysis. But now we got to talk about some other stuff, right? How much money is it going to make you? And, of course, where is it located, right? Number one rule in real estate. Location, location, location. This bad boy is 2403 Miracourt, Cleveland, Ohio, 44109. And as I said, it's priced at 55 k That's a banging price for this, dude. We're going to want to move quick uh, to give you a little insight, right, into the locale of this particular property. We are in the Cleveland real estate market, okay, and we are kind of in the old Brooklyn area, right? The old Brooklyn area happens to be the area that Holton Wise has the most densely – I don't know how to say it. Like, we invest in a whole bunch of areas, a whole bunch of neighborhoods, but, like, we have the most properties in Old Brooklyn compared to, like, the population, right? So, like, Old Brooklyn is kind of like our hub, right? So this is like a C-grade neighborhood, okay? So you're going to be focusing on trying to rent to cash-paying tenants and or Section 8 tenants, right? I happen to really like Section 8 tenants in C-grade neighborhoods because you get the government guaranteed cheddar, man. The government pays every single time, which I really, really like, especially, you know, in worlds where, you know, things like shutting down the entire economy because of, like, coronavirus and stuff, like in the worlds where those things exist and people can make rental moratorium. It is wild out there, right? So what I like to have is have my bag secured, so to speak. You know, I'd like to make sure that money's coming in, right? And that's a great question, Mike. How much money's going to come in? Well, we should have no issue renting that bad boy for nine eighty five a month, right? That's 11820 That is the cool thing with 2022, y'all. Rents are up, like, nationwide. It sucks that gas is up. It sucks that food is up. It sucks that this or that or this or that is up. But you know what? Rent is up, baby, and that's great for me. That's great for everybody watching this show. That's what we do. We collect rent, right? So nine eighty five, after factoring in fixed and variable expense estimates, right? My team will handle everything on the ground for you here in this Cleveland market, okay? We will do it all landscaping, property management, evictions, tenant screening, insurance, fixing roofs, fixing sidewalks, fixing driveways, posting notices. We do it all. Anything y'all need, we handle it, right? So you can come from other markets. You could come from California. You could come from New York. You could come from New Jersey. You can come from Connecticut. You come from wherever, right? And my people will be your team on the ground, right? We take care of it all. So after... We factor in those expenses related to the management of the property and, you know, long-term projections. What I believe you'll really be making is about five twenty-one a month or a little bit over 6 Gs a year. At the price point of 55 which is what the seller is asking, we got to move quick because somebody's going to buy this thing because there's a lot of money to be made. They're going to gobble it up. So if we do an offer of 55 k uh, you'll be putting down thirteen seven fifty. Bank's gonna kick in forty one two fifty. That's gonna project out to about a twenty seven point three percent cash on cash return. At this point, you're like, well, hot damn, Jay Wise, that sounds like an awesome deal. Where do I sign on the dotted line? One second. One thing we gotta discuss. There's a little bit of additional things I want to talk to you about because that was dopeified. Dopeified kids. That's a new word for you. That means it was dope. Dope is awesome for anybody watching this over like, I don't know, 45 or something. Y'all old bastards. Anyway, here's the deal. Uh, Cleveland recently enacted uh, lead-based paint certification laws. Okay, they're brand spanking new. And if you're new to the Cleveland market, or even if you've been in the Cleveland market for a long time, you probably don't even know about them. You probably never heard about them. If you're checking out properties on Zillow, Realtor.com, Realtors aren't talking about it. Not a lot of realtors understand it. Don't you worry, though. Holton Wise, running a freaking $75 million portfolio out here. We kind of need to know what's going on, right? That's why we're the biggest name in the game. Uh, so we are here to help everybody understand these things. After this show, I want you to watch my lead paint certification video. I go over the process. It's kind of a difficult and confusing process. It took The video is like 30 minutes long, dude. Like That's how complicated it is. It's not just like... Oh, I got to get my house lead certified. All right. Like, this is how you do it. It's going to be a thousand bucks. It's not that simple. It's more difficult, right? I mean, it's the government. Anything involving the government is going to be tough, right? Uh, so, watch that video. This house has not been lead certified. Seller hasn't begun the process, don't know anything. They already rehabbed the inside of it. I don't think it's going to be a very hard process to get it lead certified. The biggest things uh, are going to be like windows and peeling paint. Uh, 
to me, what we have here is it looks like we got aluminum siding, and it looks like we got some vinyl windows. So you shouldn't have too many big costs, but I did see some, like, peeling paint and stuff, like, on the porch, right? So you got your siding here, but you got your wood porch. So I would assume when it comes time to get this particular property lead certified, you as the owner, you're going to be looking at a few grand, right, to, to, to get that scraped up and all those uh, peeling paint hazards, get those taken care of. So I, I would I would assume, right, I can't tell you for sure because we haven't begun the process, right? It, you don't know what you don't know till you start the process, which, again, that's why you got to watch that half-hour-long video, which explains the process. But I would guesstimate when it comes time to get this thing lead certified, right, which you'll want to do uh, by the end of 2022 for sure, uh, you're probably going to be spending a few grand to get it lead certified. And then after that, you're looking pretty, baby. So, uh, moral story, good deal, but I just want to make sure you have all the info you need before you make an, uh, so you can make the most informed buying decision, right? I mean, that's what it's all about, right? Giving you the knowledge. It's real estate investing, y'all. It makes money. I don't got to get up here and tell y'all it makes money. I, you know, I mean, if, if you don't think real estate investing doesn't make money, I don't know how the hell you made it this far into the video, right? My job is to tell you uh, the ins and the outs, the intricacies of the Cleveland market, go over these properties and make sure you have all the info possible so you can decide if this is the property you want to do the deal on. Let me know. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.